guys, guys, I have another problem. Dude, as I was driving, both of the uh, front chains snapped. I saw the binder go loose like that, and then I'm like, something is wrong. Unfortunately, I am overweight on the uh, drive axles. What is wrong? Hey guys, my name is Yusuf, and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Just booked me two loads, two partial loads. One is... Uh, three pallets that I'm gonna be picking up here very shortly and the other one is uh, uh, two wood chippers so the, I called the broker and he, he said that the uh, the wood chipper place do not have ramps so what they're gonna do they're gonna call a wrecker and have that the wood chipper transferred over to my trailer so the two wood chippers weigh around 10,000 pounds and the three pallets weigh around 7,000 pounds so I'm gonna be maxing out my trailer once again and see how this Ford is gonna do in this trip I will be going from Phoenix to uh, Northern California but without further ado because the wrecker is waiting for me already let's go ahead and pick this load up let's hit the road guys all right guys made it to the yard and that's what we're gonna pick up two chippers over there we're gonna use that wrecker to get, get the uh, chippers on the trailers okay guys so since he did not have a way to push that uh, wood chipper onto my trailer what he's gonna do he's gonna try to uh, winch it from that side so let's see how is that gonna play out All right guys, load number one is on the trailer, fortunately. So the broker said it was supposed to be 24 feet and if you look at it, it's way over 24 feet. It's, it's right at 30. Although I have overlapped them just a little bit and it's still 40, uh, 30 feet. Okay, so, we are at the second location. Challenge number 682 is that to go back in here and then go that way and go around the building because I did not know that they had a uh, room in the back of the building, I thought. Uh, maybe like I would go this way and then go around but apparently there is this small uh, street that you can go in and go around the building so let's go ahead and mount that GoPro over here and see if we could do this guys can we do this maybe maybe not successfully made the turn it was a tight turn but we have made it let's wait for the guys to come out and get me loaded guys the second load is on the trailer now this weighs 7,000 pounds that should weigh 10,000 pounds so all in all I have 17 I am gonna go ahead and and go get a, a scale ticket because I want to make sure that <laughs> I am not overloading my drive axles because okay guys just made it to the uh, truck stop let's go ahead and get on the scale and see how much we weigh all right let's go inside get the scale ticket and come back okay a slightly bad news i just got this scale ticket uh, from inside unfortunately i am overweight on the uh, drive axles so what i need to do i need to move these two wood chippers slightly back just to make sure that i have enough uh, like enough load off of my drive axis and onto my trailer axis. My trailer axis axles came up to be uh, like 20,000 and my drive axles is currently at 11,000. It cannot exceed 9,900. So <laughs> let's go ahead and move some stuff back and see if that will help. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chop this wheel, open these chains and open the other chains that way and hopefully Hopefully this will move a little bit, right? <laughs> Ok 
Okay guys, it looks like we're good to go. I think I cleared up four, four feet or maybe three, three and a half feet uh, back. So I think that should give me enough enough weight on the back axles and then a little bit of relief on the drive axles you see how much space i have in between those two <laughs> yeah if anything i'll move the tarp let's go ahead and get another scale ticket and see how much we are at and uh, see what else we have to do okay so i just went inside and weighed myself again uh, i got the scale ticket it came up to my drive axle is now at 10,400 so what i'm gonna do i will put the uh, tarps and dunnage and take it all the way back over here because like whenever you put something right at the end you will have that teeter-totter effect where you put it here and then it takes uh it takes the weight off off your drive axle so i hope that will be the case let's go ahead and put all that dunnage here and hopefully uh we will take some weight off off the drive axles All right, guys, I went ahead and moved my tarp in the back so that that will be at least 90 pounds. I decided that I will donate, donate my dunnage. I didn't go inside and see, uh, go and weigh, us, weigh ourselves one more time and see what the scale is saying. Hopefully it's less than 10,000 pounds. guys 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 i have another problem dude as i was driving both of the front chains snapped i saw the binder go loose like that and then i'm like something is wrong let me pull uh, by the side of the road so I, i'll check what's what's wrong look at it look it snapped and guess what look at the other side it has almost i mean it has snapped but it has not come off yet look at it One of the guys were saying he saw me at the truck uh, at the truck stop. He said, "Yusuf, do not get these uh, 516 chains. Go get uh, 3 8 or better." So I thought he was just joking. And then a month ago, one of my uh, one of my chains uh, snapped, and then today, uh, two of them snapped. So I'm glad that this did not roll back on me. I think the reason that it did not roll back because I had it snug over here so that's why it did not roll back i am so so glad that no one got hurt and thankfully i caught it just in time so i could pull over and then take care of it let's go ahead and replace the chains once again and hopefully it does not snap i have another uh 300 miles no i think it's 200 miles to go so i definitely need a better securement Okay guys, the load has been secured. Let me show you these chains, man. These chains ain't worn nothing. Look at it. Look, it snapped. Again, it snapped. So I have one piece. Now there are three pieces. Three pieces in a soda, you know? Now you may be asking yourself, Yusuf, saying, hey, you are probably wrong. You over tightened it. Yeah, man, I may have, but look where it snaps. It snaps right at the weld line, you know? You see over here? Right, right there, they welded together, right? See, right there, it has snapped. Right there, it has snapped. So if they have welded it just fine, it would be okay. But I think they are not doing a good job. Uh, so they're not worth anything. I think I, I over tightened it just a little bit. So uh, I learned next time, uh, I'll get a better chain first and then I will not over tighten it. So hopefully uh, I'm still good to go. I have other chains with me, so if 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 anything, then I will uh, I will replace them by by the ones that I have. But uh, yeah, let's hit the road, guys. All right, guys, the load is officially off my trailer. Man, it feels great to have such a big burden off of your bag. It felt like I had a big diarrhea. I had to just crap it out all out in the bathroom.
but anyways the guy was pretty nice that was that's his house this is his shop he gave me a water and he also offered to have lunch with him but i said you know i had i have to go to uh, to the other place and drop drop off my second uh, load so i could not stay with him but it's very nice to meet those kind of people where they're actually happy about their life and they are nice to other people but uh enough talking guys let's get in the road and let's get that load delivered All right, guys, this will do it for this video. By the way, I forgot to mention how much this load was paying. This load was paying $1,900 altogether on 850 miles, I think. Uh, so the first load that I dropped, it paid $1,000, and this one paid, uh, the second one paid $900. So uh, if you add them all together, it will be $1,900 on 850 miles, which is $2.20 cents a mile. So that's pretty good. Anyways, uh, this will do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.